In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to build an AI automation that creates weekly news videos on autopilot while using your AI clone. And I'm gonna show you a quick example of what I mean by this. This has been a huge week for AI news. Did you see what Google's new Gemini 2.5 Pro model just pulled off? So of course it's not perfect and there needs to be some editing behind this to make the videos appear more professional, but this automation is definitely gonna get you going in the right direction. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and I help business owners and creators leverage AI to scale content, save time, and ultimately make more money online. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools, prompts, and even some automation templates, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. So in order to build this automation, there are a few things that you need first. And number one is you need to use a no code automation platform. I'm using make.com. That's what I would recommend if you're following along. It's more beginner friendly, but you can also apply this to N8N, Zapier, Gumloop, etc. Now, if you want to get my template and my JSON file for this exact automation, I do leave all of this inside my AI Marketing Insiders community. I'll leave a link below to join, and I have a specific area in here called the AI Automations Vault where I upload all of my different automation templates related to marketing and content creation. So again, I will leave a link to my community if you wanna join in the video description below. So for those who aren't in my community, I'm gonna show you how to build this automation step-by-step. Step. And again, I'm using make.com and everything that I mentioned will be in the video description below. So what I'm gonna do is from the home screen here, if you're using make.com, you should see create a new scenario. This is completely free to sign up and use by the way. So I'm gonna click create a new scenario. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to name this in the top left. I'm gonna do weekly news video demo. You can name it whatever you want. Then I would recommend clicking save on the bottom. It doesn't auto save to so just make sure that you're saving your work. Now we need to add our first module. So I'm going to click this purple plus icon. And what we're going to do in this automation is we're going to type in RSS. So I'm going to click the RSS module and the trigger that we want in this particular instance is watch RSS feed items. So I'm going to click that. And now it's going to ask for a URL. So in this particular instance, my niche is AI news. And one site that I follow religiously for AI news is called The Verge. They're a big name in the tech space. And this would apply to whatever niche or industry that you wanna follow. So find that particular website that you follow for news articles that you might wanna make weekly news videos about and make sure that you, you know, come up to the website and that you copy the URL. Now the next step is we're gonna use a tool called RSS Finder, rssfinder.app. And I'm going to paste that URL in because this is not the RSS feed, this is just the URL of that website with the AI category. Then I'm gonna click search and this should find the RSS feed. So here we go right here. Now I don't want this one because this is the main RSS feed for the entire Verge website. They cover a variety of tech topics and I don't want that in this instance. I want the specific AI category RSS feed, which is this one right here. So I'm going to click copy URL. Then I'm going to come back to make.com and I'm going to paste that URL right here. Now for the maximum number of returned items, this is actually an important field for this particular instance. I'm going to put this at five for now. You'll see why I'm doing that. But essentially what this means is I'm going to scrape the latest five AI news stories from this particular RSS feed. So I'm gonna click save, and then I'm going to click, let's just leave it at from now on. I'm gonna click save, and then I'm going to click save again. Now the next module we need in our workflow is called a text aggregator. So I'm gonna click add another module. I'm gonna type in tools, click tools right here. You'll notice a bunch of different actions. So what we need in this particular instance is called a text aggregator. This aggregates multiple strings into one text. You'll see exactly why we need this. And so for the source module, it already has it selected right here. Watch RSS feed items. Now this is a very important point here and I'm gonna go ahead and paste what I had in already. So what I'm gonna do here in order to aggregate this text, I need to do it by article, published, summary, and URL. And I'm going to fill out each one of these fields using this tree from the previous RSS module. So for article, what we wanna do here is just the title. For published, what we wanna do is the actual published date. So I'm gonna do date created. 
For the summary, this is where we would have the summary right here. And for the URL, we would just enter the URL, which is right here. And then I'm going to click save. Now, don't worry about this little warning message here. Basically, this is just saying that the transformer should not be the last module in the route, which is true. We're gonna add a new module to this workflow. So we're gonna click add another module. And in this instance, I'm going to use Anthropic Claude. What I'm doing here is I'm using Claude to write the video script. You can use OpenAI, you can use Gemini, whatever your preferred AI model is for this. So I'm gonna click Anthropic Claude, click Create a Prompt, and the very first thing that you need to do is establish a connection. And in order to do that, you need to go to the Anthropic Council. Again, I'll leave that website in the video description below. You need to come in here and set up a free account, add billing. So I would add maybe just like $5 max. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. And then once you do that, click API keys, click Create a Key, name your key, get that API key, you would copy it, come back to make.com, add a connection, paste the API key in right here and click save. I'm not gonna do that because I'm already connected to my Anthropic account. So once you're connected for the model, I would recommend honestly just using Claude Hayaku 3.5. You can change this later, but I would recommend starting here. For max tokens, I would just enter in a thousand. That'll be good enough for this particular scenario. For messages, click add message. For role, we want user. And then for content, click add content. For the type, we want text. Now this is where the secret sauce of the automations happen inside these text inputs. And I'm going to paste what I already had ready to go as my video script writer. You are the official voice of Ryan Dozer on YouTube. Your task is to turn news articles into a video script that sound exactly like Ryan to recap the most important AI news from this week. I'm gonna delete this and I'll explain this here shortly. But basically what I'm doing here is I'm giving it all these instructions for repurposing that RSS feed, pulling in the most relevant AI news stories of this week into a five minute or a sub five minute video script. I have all sorts of details about hooks, the script structure, how it should be less than five minutes, giving it all these best practices, so on and so forth. And if you upload this JSON file or my template, you can go in here, copy and paste it, repurpose it into your own text inputs, but this just gives you a good start on what I'm doing. Now, this is the important part where it says this week's AI news articles. What I need to do is click right here and by default, that text aggregator will pull up since it's the previous module. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this because this needs to pull from that text aggregator, which is the previous module. And then I'm going to click save and then I'm gonna click save again. So now that the Claude module is set up properly, the next thing that we wanna do is click add another module. And in this instance, I'm going to add a router and that's gonna break the workflow off into two separate paths. The reason for me doing this is on the bottom, I'm actually going to use a Google Docs module and the action will be create a document. The reason for me doing this is I wanna verify that the video scripts that Claude creates based on that RSS feed are well done before I just burn through all of my different HeyGen API credits to create those videos. That's the reason for me making the Google Docs module like I am now. Now you wanna ensure that you're established to your Google connection. I'll leave a tutorial in the description below if you don't know how to do that. But once your connection is established, first we need a name here. So I'm gonna do AI News video script. And then just a, a quick little tip here, I'm gonna add now the function now, that way it'll automatically generate the date that this was created. This helps me stay organized inside the Google Drive folder, which by the way, if you wanna stay organized with these automations, I'd recommend just creating a Google Drive folder before you start connecting to any Google modules like Sheets or Docs, et cetera. Your life's just gonna be way easier doing it that way. So let's go back to my automation. And now that I have my name, we need to pull the content. Now the content in this instance, I'm gonna shrink my screen. I hate how it always does this. Let's open up the module, click content. What we wanna do is we wanna pull content from that previous Claude module. So I'm gonna hit the content dropdown, click text, and that's what we need right here. Now for drive, leave it at my drive, click here to choose a folder. And again, I already have a folder created for this called AI News Video Scripts. Then I'm going to click save. Now we're going to add the HeyGen module right here, but first I wanna go ahead and test this to make sure that the video scripts are working properly. So in order to test this, I'm gonna right 
click the RSS module, click choose where to start. Let's just do all RSS feeds, click save. And then I'm going to click run once and I'm gonna skip ahead and wait till this is complete. All right, so this ran through successfully. I noticed a document was created in this folder titled AI News Video Script with today's date with that little function that I added. And here's the video script. Microsoft just transformed Edge into a browser. Trump dropped a massive AI policy plan. Microsoft CEO, co-pilot, blah, blah, blah. We have some major AI news to cover this week, so be sure to stick around for the full video. Here's my call to action. So just from a first glance, it looks a little short, so I might come back and kind of tweak this in the Claude model before I would actually publish this, but not bad. This is actually going in the right direction. So now that this looks good, let's come back to our make automation. I'm gonna minimize this a little bit so I can show you the Hey Gen module. So right here, I'm going to click the plus icon and then I'm gonna search for Hey Gen. Click Hey Gen and the action that we want in this particular example, I believe is create an avatar video. And so once this sets up, now we need to go through the HeyGen module through all these different outlets here. So what you need here is you need a HeyGen API account in order for this to work. I will leave a link to this in the video description below. I'd recommend starting on the free plan. You only get 10 free credits. I'd recommend starting there because this can get very expensive. But in order to do professional quality outputs with the HeyGen module, you do need to be on the pro plan for $99 a month, which covers 100 credits. That's what I'm using right now for the purposes of this and several other tutorials on my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys appreciate me investing in tools like this. So once you're signed up to a plan, let's go back to our HeyGen module. You need to add your connection. For connection type, you would do HeyGen, and then you would need to find your API key. So inside my HeyGen account, I'm gonna click my name, click settings, subscriptions and API, HeyGen API, and then here is my API key. I would click copy, I would come back to make, paste it in right here, and then click save. I'm already established my connection, so I'm not gonna do that. So the next step is we need to add items under video input, so click add item. Now what we wanna do under type is we wanna click avatar, and this is going to bring a whole other set of dropdowns that we need to choose from. So what we wanna do first is there should be an option as I sit here and wait for this to load, there should be a way to actually choose an avatar that you have set up in your HeyGen account. So I'm gonna click this, and while this is loading, I should mention this, you need to create avatars within your HeyGen account in order for this to work. I do have a full tutorial showing you step-by-step -step how to create an avatar inside HeyGen, so I will leave that tutorial in the video description below. You must do that first, or these types of automations will not work. So let's go back to the automation, and then here it's gonna pull in all these different avatars that I just showed you. I should have did a better job naming these, but I'm gonna click one of these that I know is high quality. So I'm gonna click this avatar. For scale, I would just leave this at one. And if we scroll down, I believe we don't need to fill anything out here. Uh, for avatar, let's for voice type, we want text. For avatar style, we want normal. And if we scroll down for voice ID, this is where you can choose a specific voice inside here. So what I'm gonna do is my Ryan Dozer AI voice clone. Uh, for input text, this is where we need to get that video script. So I'm gonna click content under the Claude dropdown, click text, and that's pulling in that video script that we're gonna feed to our video. Now you can mess around with some of these other settings like voice speech or voice pitch. Uh, 50 is usually a good number to put here. Uh, for emotion, I would just leave this at friendly. Uh, for background type, you can just leave this off. For the title of the video, I would just do AI news video and then I actually have that now functionality, so I'd recommend using now, uh, just like we did for that Google Doc module, so that now option right there just to keep me organized. And then I'd recommend leaving the rest of this blank. Now the one thing that you must know is that in order to do this properly, you do need to change these dimensions to 1920 by 1080. Because this video is gonna be around five minutes or a little less, we want it in that long form horizontal style. That's the reason we need to change those dimensions. That's a very important step. So now that that's all done, I'm gonna click save and then I'm going to click save again. 
So I know I just went through a lot of nitty gritty details there and I recommend rewinding the video if you miss something or just getting the automation template from my community. That's gonna be your best bet if you're following along here. So now let's actually test this automation. And in order to do this, I'm gonna right click the RSS module, click choose where to start, click R all RSS feed items, excuse me, click save. And then I'm going to click run once. And then I'm gonna skip ahead and wait till this output is complete. All right, so for whatever reason inside HeyGen, this video is taking a while to load, but you'll see I'm in projects. So to go inside HeyGen, click projects, and I know the automation is working correctly because this video is now downloading, but I did make one a few days ago, and I'm gonna go ahead and play this. This is from the exact same automation. So I'm gonna click this, and I'm gonna play this so you can see exactly what this sounds like. Microsoft's making massive layoffs, Google's launching a wild new AI search feature, and a U.S. judge just caught AI making up legal citations. We have some major AI news to cover this week, so be sure to stick around for the entire video. Now, obviously, the handoff here is I would give this to my editor. He would fine-tune it. He would make it look nice, add music, add B-roll video to the background, and I would do this on Thursday and then publish this on Friday, ideally. So that's kind of the process here of the weekly AI news videos. And the last point to mention is that inside the automation, we need to actually set an interval for this thing to run automatically. So let's say I want to do this every Thursday. So what I would do is I would do this days of the week. I would do Thursday and then I would do, let's say, uh, 8 a.m. So I would click eight and then we would do zero and then we would do a.m. Click enter and then we would click save and then I would click activate scenario. So now every time on Thursday at 8 a.m., this automation is going to trigger and inside HeyGen, I should have an AI news video that I could then hand off to my editor where he would make it look nice. Well, here's the new video right here. So let's go ahead and check this out and see what this looks like. Microsoft is transforming Edge into an AI browser. Trump's proposing a massive AI deregulation plan. And Microsoft's AI CEO thinks Copilot will literally have it. So not bad. That sounds a little faster in my opinion, but it did still come out correctly. So that's really all we wanted to accomplish for the purposes of this tutorial. So that concludes my tutorial on how to build an AI automation that creates weekly news videos using an AI clone. And if you've made it this far into the video, first of all, I appreciate you. If you found value or you learned something here, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I always wanna hear your guys' thoughts whenever I cover AI and all these different automation tutorials. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.